Match day one for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will make a statement in this, the opener? Live action coming up next on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Croatia, and they take on Belgium. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Andrei Kramaric. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Yuri Tiedemans plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts with Dries Mertens. And so the match is underway. Modric, Mateo Kovacic, Kovacic seducing with his passing, oh but cutting it out in the nick of time, the cross is on, so after that a goal kick it'll be, well look at Modric on the pitch as class personified, Stuart what are you expecting to see from Modric? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And that is going to be a free kick. Giving the ball away. Meunier. Now Azar. Modric. Beautifully weighted ball. The ball with Luka Modric. Useful looking ball. The supporters want to see him have a go. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. He's 
driven in the corner. Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Not a short corner here. And Perisic prepared to fire. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Well, I think with Belgium, it's a question of whether or not they can fulfil their potential. And quite frankly, Stuart, we've been asking that question of them for quite some time now, haven't we? Yes, we have, but I think they have probably passed their best. Some of their key players are now ageing, but they are a good team. They've got some excellent players. And with Canada, Croatia and Morocco in their group, I still think they'll go through. Throw into Belgium then. Aidan Azar. Lukaku. And intercepted it. Illegal play and hence a free kick. Well, the referee might have been tempted to reach for his pocket, but wasn't. Well, it's a foul, but not a bad one. A warning is just about the right decision. Well, that didn't go exactly to plan. And no wonder he's getting a few icy stares from his teammates. Yeah, that's a complete waste. He was never going to score from there. Brozovic. And Kramaric on the ball. Tremendous ball played through. Credit to them for winning back possession. Can he find the right pass? Josip Juranovic. Will he play it in? Kramaric, and no way through. Mertens. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. Mateo Kovacic, excellent ball over the top, Kramaric, can they nudge in front, and a goal to open the scoring, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Minier. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Mateo Kovacic. Alderweire. Now Minier. 
Mertens. Well, there it is, as expected. Belgium have controlled more of the ball so far, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier, and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Well, they need to get tighter. Unable to keep the ball that time. Mario Pasalic. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. short option preferred well no mistake from the keeper acting decisively Lukaku and he's in and still a chance and in at the second time of asking just what was required Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. And there it is, the half-time whistle. 15, Thomas Meunier. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half, as they've struggled at times today. So back underway here into the second half. And space to attack. And now here's Aiden Azar. Mertens, vital intervention. Ivan Perisic. A super tackle and they've won possession. Mertens. Meunier. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage of the situation? All in all, a broken counter-attack. Minier. Clean challenge. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Not the best challenge, free kick. Carrasco De Bruyne now in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here happy to take on the shot strong hand on that one 
Well, those stats tell you what a good game this has been. We've seen a lot of good attacking play, plenty of goal mouth action, and all done at a high tempo. It's been very entertaining so far. Perisic. Must score. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Carrasco. Lukaku! Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. And possibilities here. That's excellent defending following the cross. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And space to cross it. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And a throw in forthcoming. Modric. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Mertens. De Bruyne now. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Could be a chance to break here. Lukaku. All even, but will it stay that way? Hazard! Still possibilities. He's blocked it. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And they will make the change now. Brozovic, Gvardiol, 
Here's Kovacic. He's played the pass up there to Ivan Perisic. Kramaric. Not an opportunity that he couldn't take advantage of, Stuart. Well, he did everything right except score. His movement was really good. It deserved a goal, really. So, making the substitution now. Mertens. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And he's broken free. Kovacic. Clears it away. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Lovren. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Tielemans. Azar. It's the threaded Azar pass. No nonsense clearance. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone. Neither side holds the advantage.